Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kigon. Minister for Rural Development, Metsubo Jamir, inaugurated the Longjiang Halibut, constructed by three peer groups some 20 kilometers away from Mokokchung on November 23, becoming reportedly the first village in Nagaland to have a halibut. At the inaugural program, the minister declared that the Longjiang Halibut was the first in the state located in a village. He noted that the three peer groups displayed an exemplary action to the rest of Nagaland. The halibut was co reportedly constructed solely from contribution from among members of the group. He asserted that such an exemplary work will be influential on the neighboring districts of Woka, Longleng, Tuansang and Zanipoto. Uka the Nibodo As in the Mokjumasan, as in Mergul Helibet, Mam Sharia District Headquarters, Tashi Savasin of Tana Yimsam Hanwam Helibet, Yamutu Taya, Ya Unsara Dango Balazi to Luas Rubo, Urbangalam, Asun Yan, the Yimku in Nagadi by Ajiz Rabangsar, Itangje, Unugashi, Lungjang, Tamasaya Watashi, Oimaya Usampanauzu, Lungjang Nuasum, Yim Hanuasum. Also, also, a community leader, T. Tumjen Jamir, said in his welcome address that as a good tradition of Longjiang village since time immemorial, the Lanu Menden Tarensen is a most crucial stage when they are responsible for looking after assigned duties given by the village council for a period of three years. The peer groups resolved to do a good deed for the welfare of the village by constructing a halibut, he informed. My name is Timjin Jamir. I'm the convener of Hilipat Construction Committee. So we, as a responsible Longjiang village, Ladur Benton, has resolved to do a special works when we reach the Lalu Tatazunga. So in our first meeting, we have resolved that as a Yimsen Yimnaru in our village, we resolve to construct a helibat in our own contribution. This helibat was constructed with uh, expenses, expenses of around 10 to 12 lakhs. Now, all this contribution, all these monies are made by our own contribution only. We didn't receive any grant from any sources, but the help given by the village council has give us a tremendous uh, encouragement to us. This will benefit not only for the village, but this will benefit all Asukung area as well as Mokcho district. Mikalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma on Wednesday, along with his cabinet colleagues, visited the Mukro village in West Jandia Hills, where six people, including a forest guard, were killed in a firing by Assam police at the Assam Mikalaya border at Mukro village in West Jandia Hills district. Emotionally affected by, by seeing what has happened, and uh, definitely there will be a, a reaction from. Uh, some of the youths, that's something that we cannot uh, deny. But uh, we have to also realize that uh, that is not always the only solution and that is not the only, always the only path that's there in front of us. And hence that we have to realize that ultimately to be able to achieve the development, achieve the peace and achieve the overall goals that we have, there are certain ways that we can do this. And today in the democratic process and the government, there are many, many ways and therefore we should ensure that uh, violence should not be the way forward to find solutions to this. We are all upset, we are all angry about all, what has happened, but uh, we will ensure that justice is done and we will also ensure that in the long run, the entire issue of this uh, border issue, which is at the crux of all this tension that is always building up here, should be resolved at the earliest. 
Earlier, Assam Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma informed Mekalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma during a telephonic conversation that the OC of Zirikinting Police Station, who was involved in the incident, has been suspended. The Forest Range Protection Officer in charge of the area and who was a part of the incident has been suspended. The SP of West Garbianglong has been transferred. The Government of Assam will be taking necessary steps to investigate into the matter in consultation with the Government of Mekalaya. The Assam government has also assured that whatever demands government of Mekalaya puts forward to government of India, government of Assam will cooperate to ensure justice is served and those who are guilty are punished. Registering the grief at the incident that occurred at Mukro village in West Jendia Hills district in Mekalaya, where five lives were lost in the fighting by Assam police and forest guard, frontal pressure groups in Ripoy district hoisted black flags in different parts of the district. The community groups organized the black flag teamed events in Nongbo, Birnihat, Umsning, Umiam and Boto villages with the message that the state's government must act resolutely in regard to the incident that occurred on November 22 at Mukro village. Leaders of the frontal NGOs of Mekalia have condemned the incident. Following the incident at Mukro village, movement of commercial and private vehicles was restricted along the borders of Mekalia and Assam, which has now put travellers and tourists in dismay. it's been two days that the restriction is being enforced by a sample list. It is also informed that on November 23, commercial vehicles of Mekalaya were restricted from entering Assam in Jorabad, which forced drivers to let off passengers midway. The public has reportedly been forced into inconvenience. They said that due to the restriction on entering Assam and Mekalaya, there could be a hike in taxi fares, which will surely affect travellers, but they do not have any option. They urged both the state governments of Mekalaya and Assam to settle the matter at the earliest. A workshop on startups was conducted today, November 23, in Kohima, in collaboration with Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. The one-day workshop had sensitization and awareness sessions, boot camps, aspiring entrepreneurs and ecosystem enablers in Nagaland. Speaking at a workshop, Commissioner and Secretary for the Department of Industries and Commerce Startup India Nodal Officer for Naglin, Kekrevor Kevichusa, said the main objective of the workshop was to facilitate the growth of at least one startup per district with a focus on establishing innovative made in Naglin products and services. It aims to establish a world class state incubator in partnership with global leadership on a PPP mode which will nurture and guide and support existing aspiring startup to become a su successful business venture. We'll uh, go a long way in facilitating affordable flow of institutional credit, something uh, the banks badly wanted. They wanted this comfort factor to persuade them to lend a little more than what they are doing now. A lot of what uh, we are experiencing now, the gaps and deficiencies, are essentially the outcomes of problems that we have created ourselves. And I can, uh, without naming, I can tell you the example of one individual in one town in my district who wreaked such havoc that the bank branch of the town had to be downscaled, just one person. He did something that affected more than 10, 20,000 people. And they have been demanding another branch. And since I was nodal officer banking for quite a long time, I had to tell them to first acknowledge that your town has one of the highest NPAs. 
figures and uh, uh, statistics and charts. So it's about uh, human interaction. I do feel that, yes, uh, there are various factors that have impacted our growth as a society, that has impacted our growth as uh, an uh, economic uh, entity as, in, uh, as, as a society that is economically independent. We are unable to have our own independent economy because of various factors. However, it's the government's responsibility to take forward the society to improve at every stage. And lately now, I think it's been uh, since COVID hit us, and we finally realized that uh, we actually don't have any source of revenue and we have not been able to enable our <coughs> entrepreneurs, our businessmen to set up very viable businesses also. So that is uh, something that has been engaging the government for the last uh, two, two and a half years now. And uh, Two blasts went off near bus stops in Jerusalem on Wednesday, killing one person and injuring at least 14 in what police said were suspected attacks by Palestinians. The first explosion occurred near a bus stop on the edge of the city where commuters usually crowd waiting for buses. The second went off in Ramot, a neighbor neighborhood in the city's north. Police said one person died from the wounds and Israel's rescue service Mike and David Adom said four people were seriously wounded in the blast. The apparent attacks came as Israeli-Palestinian tensions are high following months of Israeli raids in the occupied West Bank promoted by a spate of deadly attacks against Israelis that killed 19 people. There has been an uptick in recent weeks in Palestinian attacks. The violence also comes as former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is holding coalition talks after national elections and is likely to form what's expected to be Israel's most right-wing government. Police said their initial findings showed that explosive devices were placed at the two sites. The twin plus occurred amid the bus of rush hour traffic and police closed part of a main highway leading out of the city where the first explosion went off. Video from shortly after the first blast showed debris strewn along the sidewalk as the wail of ambulances blared. The Angami Sports Association today felicitated second Northeast Olympic medalist on at Talimiran Conference Hall and OA Office Complex in Kohima. While acknowledging the medalist, ASA President Lobezo Kesiye congratulated and acknowledged for their success and also bringing laurels to the state. He also urged the sportsmen to have consistency and hard work in sports and also encouraged to strive forward and participate even in the national and international level to bring laurels to the state. 33 athletes have been awarded with a cash prize and certificates. <laughs> In celebrating the 400th birth anniversary of Lachit Barbukan in Assam, a boat race was conducted at Dikali Bukhuri Lake in Kamrup district of Assam on Wednesday, November 23. The boat race was organized by the Sports and Youth Welfare Departments in association with the District Administration of Kamrup Metro. Four boat racing teams participated in the event. The 
The winning team was Agia Bara Kamru Rural. They received a trophy and cash of 11,000. The second place winners was Chai Gaon team Kamrup Metro. They received a trophy and cash of 7,000. A large number of people watched the boat race. Organizers said that the traditional boat race is organized every year, but this year it was organized especially to celebrate the 400th birth anniversary of Lachit Barbukan. This is to promote the state's culture and traditions among the youth. That's all we have for now. For more news, keep watching Hornbill TV.